Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and in today's news, God save the Queen. The coronavirus has disrupted just about everything and the royal family schedule is no exception. On Friday, an announcement was posted to the royal family's official website regarding impending changes to Her Majesty's schedule. As a sensible precaution, and for practical reasons in the current circumstances, changes are being made to the Queen's diary commitments in the coming weeks. In consultation with the medical household and government, Her Majesty's forthcoming visits to Cheshire and Camden will be rescheduled. Audiences will continue as usual. Other events will be reviewed on an ongoing basis in line with the appropriate advice. Meanwhile, this has also thrown a wrench in the plans of Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall had for an upcoming international tour. The future monarch was scheduled to begin his trip on Tuesday, March 17th, with his wife expected to join partway through. However, this has now been postponed until further notice. Owing to the unfolding situation with the coronavirus pandemic, the British government has asked their Royal Highnesses to postpone their spring tour to Bosnia, Cyprus and Jordan. It's unclear right now whether or not any plans of Prince William and Kate Middleton will be impacted by the fast-spreading virus. As you'll recall, the Royal Fam stepped out on Monday this week for the annual Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. But one thing was different from the years past. There was no handshakes exchanged as royals greeted politicians and church leaders as they entered the service. Though many just nodded or smiled at each other, Charles took a different approach and offered a namaste instead. Honestly, we're here for it. Princess Beatrice is reportedly holding her breath that things will improve globally ahead of her wedding set for May 29th in St. James's Palace in London. As you may be aware, her fiancé Eduardo Mappelli-Mazzi has strong ties and relatives back home in Italy, where the country is under full lockdown, an insider explained to The Telegraph earlier this week. The coronavirus has thrown a bit of a wrench in the works. Although there's no suggesting that Italy will remain in lockdown until the end of May, obviously the whole thing does cast doubt over the guest list. It's unclear how long coronavirus will continue to impact daily life, but it is definitely better to be safe than sorry. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you next video.